Hey guys, and welcome to another gold making video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to farm the Varroth's guillotine. Now this item can go from anywhere from like 1 million all the way up to 2 million gold just for the one item. It's a very valuable item. It's got a decent sell rate also for transmog. And where you actually farm this is in Zerath Mortis. So this farm can either be called the, um, the Varroth's guillotine farm or the ZM farm basically and now you're going to be mainly going for the guillotine however you can also get some really good greens that sell for a lot of gold this is the positions and the spots where you're going to be doing the pulls so every circle you want to do a pull there you want to do this in a five-man group make sure everyone is level 70 and make sure they have some decent gear and basically what you're going to be doing is going from pull spot to pull spot you're going to pull all the mobs in that radius you're going to loot them up and simply fly over to the next spot. Now this farm is a very good farm, like I mentioned before. You don't even have to get the guillotine to make good gold from this farm. A lot of the green items that you can get from here sell extremely well. And they're obviously sold for transmogs. And some people still are buying, say, the rings um, and the necklaces from here. And some of the gear to actually use on their fresh level 70s or their fresh boosted characters because they've got a decent item level and you can sell them on the auction house so what you do when you're doing this farm is obviously going to be AOE pulling the mobs make sure you gather them all together in each pull location and then you simply want to burn them down with AOE now you can do this with any class but I do recommend doing it either with druids um, being in your boomkin form or hunters. Hunters work extremely well because they can also pull the mobs and they have some good AOE damage. But overall the best class to do this would definitely be a druid. Just because of how much AOE you can do. And you obviously can pull all the mobs together extremely easily. With your moonfire and sunfire and your star force doing the majority of your damage. And it is a really good farm for a druid. You're also going to be getting some materials from here, but the main gold is going to be from transmogs. So the green transmog items and obviously the guillotine. Now the guillotine isn't crazy, crazy rare, like some of the other very valuable items, uh, transmog items to farm. And you would expect to see one um, pretty commonly. For an example, we did the farm while I was recording this video for about 15 minutes, well we did it for longer, but in the first 15 minutes, as you can see, we actually got one of the guillotines to drop. A guy from the in-game community actually got one of them, which is extremely good. As you can see, everyone's freaking out that he got it, because it's actually worth 1.6 million on the server, which is, which is crazy. Now, as you can see, I sold one at the start of Shadowlands for only 161k. And I wish I kept it till now in Dragonflight because it'd be worth over 10 times more than what I sold it for. But what you want to do is make sure at every pulling location you go as far as possible and grab all of the mobs. All of these mobs, all the mobs here have a chance to actually drop the guillotine. So every single mob you do want to be pulling and making sure that you're getting all of them. The more mobs, the more kills you get per hour, the more chances of actually getting the guillotine and also, you're going to be getting a whole heap of the green transmog items while you're doing this farm. And I've been doing this for a little bit now, for the last week or so. And the, um, the green items are selling extremely well. They're probably one of the best selling transmog items that I've been farming lately. Maybe it's because people still haven't got them collected because they're from Shadowlands. Or not many people are doing this farm. Something along those lines but they're selling extremely well. Say if I farm like a hundred of these green items, I'm, within a few days I've already sold like 20, 30 of them. So they're selling extremely, extremely well. But basically, make sure you have a full group when you're doing this for the max efficiency. As you can see, you wanna have a full group of five people. Now you could have one monk that could put a statue down for everyone, just so the mobs stack a bit closer and tighter. However, it's not necessary and it's not needed. You can just have a normal five-man group. Now, if you want to learn more about making gold in retail well, I've just released my new gold farming guide for retail. This guide will be updated in all future expansions. So all the new expansions from years from now, 
So you only have to buy this guide once and you'll have lifetime access to the guide and the future updates. And that'll be the first link down below.